Okay, welcome everybody to uh, this uh, series of uh, videos that we are going to uh, discuss uh, the procedures, the radiographic procedures that are followed during uh, endodontic radiography. Now you know that uh, radiographs are very important during um, uh, endodontic uh, therapy and they are divided into uh, pre-operative, intraoperative, and post-operative radiographs. So uh, radiographs are taken before the start of endodontic treatment and during the treatment, for particularly for estimation of, uh, you know, the working length, the master cone, uh, the final obturation, and then you will do a radiograph after you're done uh, with your uh, endodontic treatment. Uh, today we're going, or in this series of videos, we're going to concentrate on the uh, intraoperative or intra endodontic operative uh, radiographs which, because these are the done while the reamers uh, or files and the clamps, rubber dam, are placed on the tooth. It might cause a little bit of um, uh, difficulty in taking the radiograph, especially with uh, the presence of the rubber dam and the clamp. Uh, 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 there is a chance of uh, uh, failure of capturing the apex of the tooth, which is most important, as you know, when you're doing a, a endodontic uh, treatment. And sometimes you will lose the image all. Plus the uh, added difficulty of placing the sensor inside the oral cavity uh, with uh, in this limited space and uh, 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 the placement also of the sensor, uh, whether you're using a sensor uh, like the PSP sensor or the uh, digital type of sensors, you know those uh, with the cable type, the direct capturing uh, uh, sensors, or using simply the uh, old school films, that is the uh, analog films. So, uh, in these um, videos, we will try to have an understanding of how uh, these, uh, how to overcome the uh, problems uh, that might be faced uh, during the uh, endodontic uh, treatment. Okay.